Hey travel lovers, welcome back to All Nails for Life here on YouTube. Today we are in Amsterdam in the Netherlands, our hometown that we absolutely adore. And we are here at the Albert Kite Market in the neighborhood of De Pipe. This market is one of the most popular in the entire city and there's lots to shop for, but we are gonna show you all the street food that you shoot while you're here. So let's get into it. This market was started in 1905. It's within walking distance of the Rijksmuseum, Museum Plein, and even the Heineken Experience. And if you're taking the metro, take 52 from Central Station and you'll get dropped off right at the entrance. It's awesome. First thing on our list is one of my absolute favorites. Flemish fries. Here you can call them frites or patates, um, but either way, they are double fried and absolutely delicious. They did start in Belgium, so they're not actually French fries, but they're Flemish fries from because the, they're from Flanders. That's one of my favorite things here. And the mayonnaise here, I used to hate mayonnaise in the U.S., but it's very different here, and I always eat it with my fries now. Mm. So those are really good. <laughs> it's kind of cold today. The big thing about these fries is the outside is crispy and the inside is super, super fluffy and they're just so perfect any day, any time of the day. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite street foods of the Albert Kite Market and really of the entire city. <laughs> is kibling and this is fried fish. Here it is kabuyao, which is cod, right? Cod? Yes, cool. So that is gonna be the traditional one. And we got the garlic sauce, which is one of the three main sauces, but it's the one that I like the best. And kind of awful story, when we first moved to Amsterdam, my first kibling did not go very well. <laughs> so I've had kibling since and it's a lot better, but just, go to the place that has the longest line. That's always the best um, advice. So let's give it a shot. Mm. Ooh. So it's super flaky. The sauce is cold and the fish is obviously very hot. They fresh fry it here, so it's never gonna be cold. And then they sprinkle some seasoning on top, which I think might be a secret recipe but all of that together just creates the most awesome little street food snack, and it's nice and hot too. Now this is my favorite stall in the entire market. Like even when I get off the metro, I make it a point to walk down a block and a half and get this item. It's called a stroop waffle. It's one waffle split in half, and then syrup is put in the middle of it, and it's just absolutely the most delicious thing ever. When you find your stroop waffle here, go to this stall. This is the original stroop waffle stall. You can find it by the red and white checkered pattern, and they're in like a trailer up a little bit. It's the best one. Definitely wait and come here. Also, if you watched our sweets video tour of Amsterdam, I'll leave the link above. If you haven't watched that yet, I'm gonna take you to a stroop waffle place in the center, but this is the number one place I recommend to get a stroop waffle. Now that I've told you the right place to get one, I'll show you the right way to eat one. And remember, this is filled with syrup, so hold it flat. <laughs> Must, must, must hold it flat. If you get it in a bag or anything and it goes down, then in syrup, just all go to one side. So just flat and then check them out and enjoy the heavenly nature that is the fresh shrub waffle. <laughs> These are tiny little Dutch pancakes called pofertjes, and they're one of my favorite things. A lot at a lot of the markets and festivals, you'll find them, and they have this perfect little pan that you put them put in the dough and then flip them really fast, like you saw this guy do, and it's just so delicious. And with butter and powdered sugar, it's the perfect little snack. Mm. So good. It's one of life's little perfections, I think. 
our final stop today is going to be for some fresh herring. Now, this is probably the number one thing that you think about when you think about the Netherlands and street food. Um, here we have it cut up and put on a plate. You can get the herring broja, which is um, herring on a sandwich. And in June, they have the new herring, which just means it's um, fresh from from the water and what they do, I think they actually uh, keep it in a um, in a brine of sorts and it keeps it fresh and it's just good all year round and people eat it all year round. It is currently January and it's still a favorite. We eat it with the onion and pickle and I personally think that that is the best, but everybody has their own thing. So there's little bones, but don't worry, you can eat these. They're not gonna get stuck in your throat or anything like that. Um, in Rotterdam, the, I think it's the Rotterdam way, is when it's one long fish and you kind of eat it like this. But um, from what I understand, the Amsterdam way is they're cut up into pieces. So here we go. You have to like fish. <laughs> I think that's kind of a given though. It's not for everybody. People call it like the Dutch sushi and blah, blah, blah. But seriously, it's its own thing. Don't call it sushi. It is a little fishy depending on where you get it from, but actually this one is very fresh and absolutely delicious. Like I said, I really like the onions and the pickle on top of it, but it's not for everybody. And I have to say, I didn't love it when I moved here, <laughs> but now I quite enjoy it. It's just a very fresh snack. So give it a try. Even if you don't think that you'll like it, give it a try. It's here at the Albert Kite Market. Get the onions, get the pickle. If you're really worried about it, get it on the bread. Save a little extra barrier. That's gonna wrap up our street food tour here at the Albert Kite Market in the DePipe neighborhood of Amsterdam. And we wrapped it up by getting some flowers for our house because flowers here are beautiful and oh so cheap. It's awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video and my beautiful windswept look. <laughs> if you did, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell so that you know every time a new video is published. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys.